Okay. A bright early morning. We're gonna have to leave this hovel behind pretty soon. I just realized we never even named this hovel. Let's let's name it right now. Uh, I don't know what to name it. It is sort of what is it? It's in the jungle. Let's let's call it um I guess we can call it Jungle Pond something. I think. Jungle Pond Abode? I I, I don't know. Uh, well, let's see. What's my first place? That, yeah, let's see. Jungle Pond uh, Hut? Hovel? Jungle Pond Hovel. That sounds, that sounds interesting, I think. Uh, there we go. So we got the Jungle Pond Hovel. Uh, that's set up. I, I mean, we will come back here to get our stuff, but it's just nice to have it, to have a name for it. So we're gonna we're gonna head over to the desert here, and we got our Ender Eyes and our map. Ready? Right, may as well get the map out and start exploring new territory while we can. Um, and I want to find a nice open area to make this easier. Hey, zombie! Let's feel like out of the way, creeper. Go flying, please. Thank you. And uh, no, this really isn't all that flat. I suppose we could do this with a boat. Uh, that'd make our lives kind of easier. Oh, well, hey, spider. Let's let's hang out while we discuss this. And that, what is that? Is that the sun? Heck, through the trees, all the way over there. I can't. No, it's not moving at all. Or is that? that ah, that's a weird. White graphical glitch right there. Anyways. Uh, so like the spider was saying, is this, I guess this is as good a spot as any, well, it looks like on the map there's some more flat land in this direction. Hopefully there's not more water over there. I just want flat land so that after I throw up my eye and I run in a direction, it's not like, food break, nom 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 nom. So that when I throw up my eye and I run in a direction, I don't have to like be jumping over a bunch of obstacles and like swerving around a lot of stuff. So it is really... Really quite lucky that the desert happens to be right here, and I'm just sort of looking for the most flat in all directions spot. And it looks like it's going to be right around down here. Right? Right here. Okay, so it's pretty flat in a lot of directions. So here goes nothing. Throwing up the first ender eye. Let's see what it says. Going this direction. Okay, so standing right here, facing that cactus, pretty much. Do I have any solids on me? Aside from some jungle wood, uh, which we're going to need to mark this spot on the map. So this is the exact center. And let's go ahead and fill this chunk up with a decent amount of wood so that we change just the color, the pixel on the map. Um, whatever. Right there, there... There and there. Now that should do the trick, I think. Uh, that'll, if I can step away from it here, it'll make a little dot in the sand. No, no, no dot. It needs a little more, okay, I guess it needs a little more wood. Throw it down. And what I'm doing right now, if you were unaware of how maps work, is whatever color they are is the, um, the most, the color of the most common block in that little, that little pixely spot. So hopefully this will work as I step back. What is a different color from sand, right? should be, um, but it doesn't seem to be changing the color at all. I also could throw down some lava, but you know what? I, I know generally where this is. I'm just going to have to draw the line from right here. Um, so from right... No, because I need to draw a second point right right there. Okay, um, well, let's mix this up a little bit. We need to find a way to make this... We could do it with cobblestone, can't we? Yeah, we can do it with cobblestone. So I'm going to head back to our um, jungle pond hovel and pick up cobblestone and then see if... I don't even have enough cobblestone to mark the map now that I realize it. I could also do this with lava. We could do a second trip because lava, when you place a lot of it down... No, I don't have to use a lot of my iron to make a bunch of buckets. Uh, I'm trying to mark the two different points on the map so that I can follow it without even so much as using outside programs, because I'm, I'm going even more hardcore vanilla than I did in this series than QGA, because I used Photoshop to sort of figure out where the fortresses are, and I don't even want to do that in this series. Uh, just in, in the spirit of making things done, like, 
completely vanilla Minecraft, as if we had no tools, sort of like role-playing, I guess. There's just no other way around doing this in the game, like, oh, sticks, I guess I never picked up some sticks. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take a moment, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to start stripping out some of the walls of this area, so I'm going to need more, are you, yeah, they're the same color. I'm gonna need more sticks than this, just a little bit more, and build a couple of iron pickaxes, or a few iron pickaxes rather, and start stripping out a bunch of cobblestone so that I can make, like, I guess, huge cobblestone waypoints on the map so that I can follow those and sort of draw them with my with my mind's eye, and then figure out where the two points come or, or come together at. So it's time to start knocking out a whole lot of these walls. I bet you guys can barely notice a difference, huh? It's because I didn't want to make like a big ugly looking quarry. As you can tell, I'm sort of trying to build and mine. It's not really mine. It's not really mining. I wasn't looking for resources. I was just gathering cobblestone. Um, my house is so empty without the minecat muse to keep me company. Um, yeah, sort of. I'm in a hurry. A lot of people were probably wondering why... Go away. I do like the knockback sprint. If you can get the knockback sprint critical hit, it's so satisfying. A lot of people were probably wondering why I was using iron pickaxes instead of my diamond pickaxe. Probably wondering, wow, you have efficiency 5 on that thing. It'll, it would go so much faster to mine with that instead of the iron ones. But I'm much more concerned about your guys' time than my own. When I have an efficiency 5 diamond pickaxe, it means I can always... Ocelot, you are not the minecat muse. Get out of my sight. I don't, even, I don't even want to be around cats anymore, you jerk. Uh, food break! Nom 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 I'm more concerned with my ability to quickly... Ah, ah one hit. Alright, sorry spiders. Everyone here has to die. I have a job to do. Uh, I just realized I probably should have waited till morning. Oh, well, I'm already out here now. Uh, where did my wood thing go? Oh, sup. Uh, nope, dead already. Uh, okay, map. I still have my map on me, correct? No, really? I put that in the chest? Alright, well, okay, there's my wood thing. It's right there. So, I can start laying down the cobblestone for this, and then laying down the cobblestone on that cactus over there. And then I will head over to my map, grab that, and then start walking probably... I'm gonna try to eyeball about 500 blocks in a different direction. And this should be... I think I'm gonna make it 8 by 8 uh, hopefully that spider's dead by the time he comes back. Really? Not really, spider. You're such a jerk. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Thank you, creeper. Six, seven. I'll put two on this side and one on the other side. Six, seven. Cut you down, please. And two on this side, one on the other side. I think that's how it works. All right. Okay, and then one over here. Ow. Oh, does he have knockback on his bow? Jeez. Ow. It's a good thing I have such awesome armor. And then right... there. Really? Missing one piece? Okay. Sup. Oh, you missed. Point blank and you missed, skeleton. Deal with that. Okay, so now... Put you right there. Uh, right, okay, god. I thought it was, that arrow was stopping me. And then looking off slightly to the right of this cactus, was it? So we'll do the exact same thing. It's probably going to be a minute before I need to take another food break, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I shall run. Actually, I want to make sure I was perfectly centered before I do this, because I'm going to run past the cactus. I'm just using it as like a like a guidance point for my eyeballs. Uh, right here, that was the center. Looked at just to the right of that cactus. And run off in this direction. I'll go. I don't really know how long I'll go for. Probably, I'll eyeball it. I've probably run about 30, 40 blocks so far. I'm just going to kind of go as far as I can. Ocean is nice and flat, so that'll make it easy. And I think I'll swim to wherever this ends up at, because I don't want to turn. I want to stay facing the exact same direction, so that when I look at my map, 
which I totally should have had so that I could be exploring right now. And it looks like this is cuts to ocean right here. So I think where you can barely see this little bit underwater right here, I'll build something up and then put a little platform in the water. And I think that'll be even easier to see on the map than building cobblestone and sand. So it'll be easier on our eyeballs once we start getting this thing ready to go. So right here. Start building our pillar up to the top. There's clay. I don't really need clay at all, but it's an option. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And one, two, three. Same thing with you. One, two, three. Okay, the platform is complete. Oh, there's my boat. I guess I did end up going right because uh, the, the house is in that direction. So that's that's our waypoint for the map right there. So there's a stronghold somewhere in that direction, or possibly in between those two locations. But we'll have to we'll have to wait to use the next Ender Eye to find out exactly where it is. I'm really hoping this idea works. It's an exciting concept, I think, to be able to find a stronghold with the use of only two Ender Eyes. And my other one broke, didn't it? So well, at least I didn't, I didn't try to. It up. Am I lost already? No, okay, so the house is in that direction. That's that's right. Okay, so I'll try, try and give these skeletons some distance here. I do want to actually gather a little bit of bones in case we end up coming across any dogs, because I would be totally down for for getting a new pack in this uh, series. Try to not break my boat here. There we go. And it's starting to rain again. Excellent. Oh, the moon's gone. What a shame. No stars. Can barely see the clouds. It's dark out here. Okay, so we gotta head back, grab the map, and then see if we can actually see these waypoints on the map. Otherwise, we need to expand our our cobblestone waypoint even bigger than it is. And it's 8x8, eight eight. it should be enough to, to show on the map, technically speaking. And I thought they required significantly less than that, but that's, that's why I'm just trying to play it safe here. So, my map that I so carelessly left behind, and... We need to go re-update that area. There we go. Nice. I do like the look of the sunrise and the jungle and the rain and the sounds of the skeleton that are chasing me from behind. Not really. I don't really like that. See if we can find a safe way down here without taking any falling damage. I have a theory. Maybe this will work if I land right. Ha ha ha! Awesome. So yeah, I think I found that out in Muse Farms. It didn't work for me too well when I tested it. Chicken. It didn't work for me too well when I tested it. But thank you for being part of the schematic. But technically, this one little block piece of vine here could provide, as I just used some some form of safety when jumping down a long distance just like the the water bucket was only a little bit different okay there perfect so we finally have that gray dot on the map you can see my guys pointing right at it right right there if you notice arrows uh, the ma the arrow on the map doesn't quite point exactly where you are pointing which is why i'm doing this whole two checkpoint system per eye um, cuz look you can see i'm pointing right at the checkpoint, but if I look straight down at the map and I run towards it, I go towards it, but the arrow's pointing, like, not in the same direction at all. It's looking a little more south than it should be looking. And there we go. I hit into it, and then there we go. This direction, face right of the cactus, and head this way. And then by the time... By the time that we reach uh, our, our second checkpoint's loading range... Should be pretty soon here. Hopefully it's noticeable in that water there. Um, you know what? It's not really noticeable in the water at all. But I think I can sort of see on the map where it is. It's that little, little tiny bit of like shallow light blue that's just down to the left. Like three pixels of my cursor that I'm just about to pass over. So that'll be... Okay, good. That's actually a significantly more distance on the map than I thought it would be uh, that I covered from my first checkpoint to my second. So now, based on that, sort of get up here so we, okay, so we really know. So it goes from 
that gray dot to this shallow ch this this shallow bit of water right here. Excellent. Well, now that we've got that figured out, it's probably best for us to take a food break. Nom 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 nom. So now it's time to use Ender Eye number two, and where I think I want to use it at is uh, probably the. Hmm. We technically only need two to finish the line. Um. And based on the line right there, we don't really know how much distance it, it... I mean, it could be a thousand blocks in that direction, or it could be somewhere in between these two points. We have no idea. So I think I'm going to actually start a little bit, probably like one or two inches to the left of the center of the map, and then throw the eye from there. So I need to head back to Jungle Bond... Jung, jungle, jungle Pond Hovel. I need to head back to Jungle Pond Hovel, and then... Or actually, do I even need to do that? No, I got a lot of cobble on me. So just head in that direction, sort of, sort of in this direction. Then I'll, I'll just eyeball wherever I want to put it on the map. 